They assume that the person who is going to come to lead the nation, to lead the country, will be the savior. However, those leaders do not actually suffice people because the general community, the general people, they expect something else and the governments, the ones in power, do not satisfy them with what they bring and that is why the conflict and the discontentment is going on. And in an Islamic system where Quran is implemented, there is always moderacy, there is always beautiful morals and always a tendency for peace and love. But when we look at Arab socialism in countries where this mentality is prevailing, there is always conflict, Arab racism, and they are talking about an Arab union. However, the only requirement is for an Islamic union, not an Arab Arabic union. And in the Ottoman times, there was the ideals of Islamic Union, but throughout history, they turned that into a kind of an Arab racism, and they got into all kinds of conflicts, and people should realize this. If they don't realize this, then they cannot find, achieve any solution, because they are, there is a corruption based on communism, the communist ideology, which is mixed with Arab nationalism, and that kind of an ideology, that mentality is totally in opposition with the morals that we find in the Quran. Therefore, what should be done there is actually, there should be a blow given on Darwinism, and if people accept this or not. Even if Darwinists act again the, against us, they object to our sayings actually, that is the only solution, because when we look at Syria, if they want the conflicts to be ended there, if they want the conflicts in Iraq to be stopped, actually there should be an intellectual struggle against Darwinism, because when we look at the roots of communism and racism, we find Darwinist ideology, and there is no other description of this disease. And Allah shows us throughout all the course of the history, there has been no intervention by any country which has resulted in peace because the Arab League could not find a solution. The United Nations or any other league, they couldn't come and find any resolution because they cannot diagnose the right problem. And they have been making all kinds of conferences related with Darwinism. They are calling Darwinists to their conference rooms and they are prideful, they are arrogant because they are making such a, a Darwinistic propaganda and they assume that that will be the way to lead people to salvation. However, on the contrary, that leads them to devastation and destruction. And we should be the ones who are responsible for diagnosing this problem and bringing the solutions. And that is why we are saying that Muslims should get together and such ideologies who are devastating people, who are perishing people, should be struggled with, with the ones, with the intellectuals who have right understanding of the true problem and because they find themselves to be right, they don't want to listen to the right solutions. So everybody who are aware of the true facts actually, they should come together, they should act in alliance.